I became hyper aware of it once I got to high school because I went to a really, really diverse high school. And the question of where you come from becomes like, you know, a topic of conversation. And people were always surprised that I was from a quote, quote, Spanish place. And they were like, are you black? And that made me think, to, I mean, the question itself sounds ridiculous, but it be, I began to think about what it means to be black why people didn't consider me black because I was Spanish and they would make like disparaging comments about oh that's why Spanish people this and I'm like am I supposed to feel some type of way like am I included in that but I also grew up with Spanish people saying you know black people are this way and you know I've always felt like I'm kind of playing playing the middle um, I am black I my ethnicity is um, you know Panamanian Costa Rican and I think the concept of a black Latina is still something our society's like, mm, those are two different categories. You know, that question on all the census and whatever, it's like, are you Latino? And then they put like non-white or, and you're like, wait, what's happening here? And I'm black and, you know, not the Spanish part. You know, I have family members who are like, you know, I'm Panamanian, but I don't speak Spanish. I don't do anything Panamanian, I'm black. Is if I speak Spanish before introducing myself or have to speak Spanish somewhere, people automatically, I'm assuming, Pan I'm Panamanian. And I'm like, how will you, How did you know? Was it my accent? No, because you're dark-skinned. So a dark-skinned Latina has to be Panamanian. So where are you from? And I'm like, oh, you know, I'm from, you know, my dad's Panamanian, my mother's Costa Rican. So they'd be like, okay, you're black, you're Hispanic, and you're American. Like, for them, that didn't jive at all. They could not understand that. When I think about being a black Latina, it's me, right?